Hi, my name is Spencer Riches. This is a presentation on automotive technology through the years. I'll be focusing on GPU processing, the displays and computers in cars, and I'll be using NVIDIA and Audi as my examples. Technology has been driving Audi since 1932, and it continues to be a primary focus in today's Audi models. Together, Audi and NVIDIA are partners in advanced automotive technology through GPU computing. So, let's start with the GPU. The GPU, or Graphics Processing Unit, is a chip that aids the CPU in graphics processing and heavy-duty computing. They are parallel because they have multiple cores. Because of this, they can process thousands of tasks at once and are very throughput-oriented. They are not cache-dependent because they use the ALU for their computations. GPUs were originally produced in the 1970s, and from the 70s up till about 2007, they were mainly used for 2D and 3D image processing. Now, what's the difference between a CPU and a GPU? The CPU typically has 4 to 8 cores and can only process a few threads simultaneously, and the GPU can have hundreds of cores that can process thousands of threads at the same time. The CPU is faster at processing a single task at a time, but the GPU has faster throughput due to its parallel architecture, so it's quicker than the CPU if you have a ton of work that needs to be done. For CPUs, clock speed is the typical performance measurement, which has seemingly maxed out around 3 GHz and has been that way for over a decade. Measuring flops is another way to compare performance, which is a typical measurement for GPUs. FLOPS stands for floating point operations per second. This is a great way to measure performance when it comes to large amounts of data that need to be computed. Here, we can see that the Pentium 4 CPU has not increased in GFLOPS in the early 2000s, but at the same time, we see that NVIDIA and ATI GPUs increase in GFLOP performance, jumping from around 10 GFLOPS in 2003 to having 50 GFLOPS by 2004. As far as the hardware goes, GPU saw an increase in transistors, which then translated into a slight decrease in clock rate, but a significant increase in GFLOP performance. As we can see by this graph, CPU flops only showed a slight increase in performance, while the GPU GFLOPs continued to rise into 2008. By 2006, GPUs were up to over 200 GFLOPs. From there, advancements with accelerated computing skyrocketed that number to over 1,000 GFLOPs by 2008. Today, NVIDIA's GPUs have performance over 4 teraflops for single precision operations and over 1.4 TFLOPs for double precision operations. By 2007, and pioneered by NVIDIA, GPUs began to be used for more than just graphics processing. GPUs started to be used more and more for accelerated computing by utilizing its multi-threading capabilities. The GPU can accelerate a program by processing a small portion of computation-rich code and then pipelining the results back to the CPU. By utilizing this method, some software applications can be improved to run over 100 times faster than if the CPU alone was used. Audi has had navigation technology in their cars since 2002. This photo was taken of an Audi prototype at the Frankfurt Motor Show in 2001. Since then, Audi has integrated more technology into their digital displays, which they call MMI, or Multimedia Interface. In 2008, Audi started prototypes for digital dashboard instrumentation to completely re replace the analog dials and knobs in the driver's view. By 2009, 3D maps were matted into Audi's MMI by using an NVIDIA GPU. This MMI uses two processors, so navigation, voice input, telephone, and audio functions could operate simultaneously. In 2011, NVIDIA's dual-core Tegra 2 chip was the powerhouse for the Audi MMI and featured a dashboard with 3D graphics realistically showing speed, fuel level, and other car status information. The Tegra 2 uses a dual-core CPU with an 8-core GPU using the ULP GeForce architecture. In 2014, the NVIDIA Tegra 3 was announced to replace the Tegra 2 in the Audi MMI hardware, which provides advanced graphics processing, computer vision, 
pattern recognition, and signal processing. Today's cars now have active cruise control, adaptive headlights, lane departure warning systems, blind spot information systems, night vision, parallel park assistance, heads-up display, fingerprint entry and ignition, and infotainment and telematic apps. Going back to the hardware of the Tegra 3, what makes this processor so much better than the Tegra 2 is that it has a 4 plus 1 core CPU with the 12 core ULP GeForce architecture GPU. The fifth core in the CPU is a battery saver core that uses VSMP or Variable Symmetric Multiprocessing Technology. The main four cores found on the right of this table operate at high frequencies and do most of the computing work, and the fifth core acts as an active standby core while operating at low frequencies, helping out with background processing. This technology allows the Tegra 3 to consume far less power than the preceding Tegra 2. The quad-core CPU combined with a VSMP technology overall allows for significant higher performance while consuming considerably less power. As can be seen on this graph, the Tegra 3 uses as much as 61% less power than the Tegra 2 in some applications. Today, NVIDIA processors are found in more than 6.2 million vehicles on the road, and that number is increasing rapidly. NVIDIA is also now partnered with many automakers, with Audi at the forefront leading the way in automotive technology. With the introduction of the Tegra 3, drastic changes were made to allow for a 100% digital Audi dashboard. A high-resolution 12.3-inch dashboard encompasses Google Earth, in-car gauges, and all infotainment menus. On top of that, an Audi tablet was introduced that can function as a normal tablet and also has the ability to communicate with the car's audio and video systems. In 2015, NVIDIA announced its Drive PX Autopilot computer and the Drive CX Cockpit computer, which are based on the new Tegra X1 processor. These computers allow support of up to 12 cameras and showcase up to 1.3 gigapixels per second throughput. The Drive PX component has two Tegra X1 processors, which use the Maxwell GPU architecture, and each GPU has an astounding 256 cores. Its performance allows it to be the world's first teraflops mobile processor based on a 16-bit floating point processing. The X1 CPU architecture uses four high-performance ARM Cortex A57 cores in conjunction with four power-efficient ARM Cortex A53 cores. This combination of cores allows the X1 to provide almost two times the power efficiency for the same CPU performance. The software can accurately detect most objects on the road, including bicycles, street names, pedestrians, equipment, traffic cones, road boundaries, fire hydrants, traffic lights, and even can distinguish what type of cars are surrounding it. This is all computed in real time and can be displayed to the driver. GPU technology will continue to advance in future automobiles. On the graphics side alone, it's estimated that one automobile will have multiple high-definition displays with a total display resolution exceeding 20 megapixels. There will be touchscreen displays for each passenger, the rear view mirror will be replaced by a display, and even the side view mirrors will be replaced with displays. Audi, partnered with NVIDIA, is one of the top automotive leaders in GPU computing technology. While GPUs originally were used solely for graphics and displays, the last eight years have proven that they can be a viable source for complex computations. By having hundreds of cores, multiple computations can be processed at once, NVIDIA has demonstrated that autonomous driving is possible by combining two high-performance GPUs to work together to process multiple inputs of data in real time. The world is constantly changing in response to innovative technology. With Audi leading the way in the automotive technology sector, we can be certain that our future cars will be smart, responsive, and intelligent supercomputers.